Hello and welcome to the Minutes Within the Mist, a wet and slimy place where we introduce you to the likes of cryptids, ghosts, and other mysteries. Today, we'll swim along the Atmaaha, Georgia's very own sea monster. The earliest reported sighting was by a Captain Delano in 1830, aboard the schooner, the Eagle. As they were sailing off St. Simon's Island below the mouth of the Altamaha River, the captain noticed a large object resembling an enormous alligator. It was swimming along the same course at a distance of 300 yards away, but at such a speed it would quickly reach his own vessel. Fearing for the safety of his crew and ship, he charged the musket, took deliberate aim at the back of its head, which was the only part then exposed, and fired. The ball had no effect on the creature other than angering it. It turned and increased its speed directly at the eagle. With tremendous speed, it struck with its tail against the stern. The shock of the blow produced a shock wave felt by all and was strong enough to cause many to lose their footing. Now the entire crew could see the creature more clearly. It was 70 feet in length with a body larger than a 60 gallon cask. It was shaped like an eel with a back full of points. There were two front pectoral fins, but the rear ones were missing. Instead, it had a flattened tail to swim through the water. Just as the crew was shocked by the appearance of the sea monster, it struck the eagle again. The sounds of cracking wood frightened all. Captain Delano felt sure that one more strike would have sufficient strength to destroy the vessel. Luckily, the monster grew bored and turned off to swim towards what appeared to be another, if smaller, version of it. Captain Delano and the Eagle were very lucky to have survived their encounter with the Almahaha. I hope you enjoyed these minutes and will join us for more of the legend surrounding the Almahaha at the Within the Mist podcast. Until then, make your way safely out of the mist and remain constantly curious.